I'm going to show you how you can access these hidden photos that are stored locally on your Mac if you ever use the Fusion B. I made a whole bunch of photos, you might make thousands of photos, and it can take up space after a while. So what you want to do maybe is store it elsewhere, like on an external hard drive or whatever. This is how you access those photos. So I made these interesting looking graffiti style um, images here. So to get to those, you can either try to go in your search bar and look up dot diffusion B and it should show you the access there. But if, if you can't quite find it that way, don't worry, because I'll show you another map. So by default, it's stored on your hard drive and then under the users and in this in this little uh, your user folder, whatever yours is called, mine's just the proto art. Um, it'll be a hidden folder that's here. So there's a free tool to do this. If you don't want to use like prompts or, you know, little commands and search bars to find it. And there's also a paid service that does this. And I'll go through the paid ones first. So there's one that I liked using for a while called Invisiblix. I've covered this in a previous video. And you simply can hide or reveal or any file, honestly. Um, so I'll show you any hidden folders that you have. And you just click on the little magnifying glass. It's going to refresh the page and all these hidden folders and files are accessible now. So be careful when you're using this because if you delete something that you're not supposed to, you can really damage your computer. So be wary with this. Keep that in mind. This is one tool. Again, this, this particular one isn't free and I don't know if it's compatible with every version of Mac that's out there. Um, as I used another one previously that's no longer compatible with the newer Macs and it's a little heartbreaking, but whatever. So that's one version. There's another option out there called find any file and they have a free option to try this out before you buy it. So again, what we're looking for is this hidden folder and we saw it was there when I used the uh, Invisiblix. It showed me all the files, right? So this is another uh, fun way to do it. So you can type in dot diffusion B and press find. So I'm going to sign this to look on my main hard drive and say find. Now, depending on how much stuff you have stored in the computer, this can take a really long time because it's going to go through every keyword that has dif dot diffusion B in it or diffusion B period. It's going to go through all this and look for it. So fortunately, I don't have a whole lot of folders. So it just shows me this one, which is great. It's what I want. It found the folder for me. So now what I'm going to do is right click it and say reveal in finder. So now we can see it was that hidden folder there. Here's how it looked before. Of course, not visible. And after now I have access to it. Good thing about this, I don't have all those other folders and root files that I don't want to mess with visible. It's only showing me what I asked for specifically. So within this uh, Diffusion B folder, I have my images stored here. So I have all my photos that I created all stored here and it's really cool. So there's a free option though that can do pretty much the same thing. And uh, I'll show you that one right now. So there's this free application called Funter. <laughs> Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. The other one was called Find Any File, and that one's about $8. So Funter is completely free, and it does pretty much the same thing, if not more. So let me show you that right now. So I've already have Funter installed. It's pretty straightforward, like you'd install any other application. So you'll see this little magnifying glass. Normally that's like your search bar, right? So with Funter installed, I have another option now under this little drop down menu, show hidden files. Now that's going to open up on my taskbar at the very top. And it's going to allow me to search for specific things uh, that I want, just like the find any file did. So if I didn't know that it started with dot diffusion B, I can put in, you know, just diffusion B and press search. And it, you know, this tells me a whole bunch of other stuff too, which is really cool. It says how much memory is being used, uh, you know, what it can clean up for me, disk usage, all this other really useful information, in addition to just searching for things. But anyway, so I'm going to press enter and it's going to do its thing. And it took seconds and it found everything that had the word diffusion B in it on my computer. <laughs> I'm just going to right click this folder and say show in finder. And it's going to prompt me, Hey, these are hidden folders. Like, are you sure you want to check them out? Like, yeah, go ahead. So it might prompt you 
to refresh it so you can see the hidden files. But again, just like find any file, it uh, showed me the you know everything that's hidden within there. So just keep that in mind. Now I colored mine just so it's easier to find. So you can do that to your folders if you want to. So there's a few different image locations here. You have your in painting images now. That's a brand new one that they added for this release. You know, it, it updates pretty frequently. So keep that in mind, things may change here. But you have your images that are generated. You have your in painting images that are generated. So these aren't stored in chronological order. So you might have to kind of go through all your images to find it. But I did find the graffiti ones that I created here. So they're all here locally. And from here, you can do whatever you want with the photos. But anyway, hopefully that was kind of helpful and useful if you're brand new to Diffusion B and you want to find these hidden folders. Again, there's many ways to do it. For me personally, I just liked using Funter because it was pretty straightforward. Um, although, if you don't mind spending a couple dollars, again, there's the paid versions or paid services like Find Any File and Invisiblix that do similar things. All right, y'all, you have a wonderful day and I'll be back with more art and music and all that fun stuff that I do here on this channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, talk to you soon.